Okay, hey, what, what's up, guys? So, this week's episode, I wanted to talk to you about something in After Effects, a really cool effect filter called the Detail Preserving Upscale Effect. And it pretty much helps you when you try to create a move digitally with one of your shots. Um, this is from my older dry ice bubble episode where I do a, a slow push in to reveal the bubble being formed. Now I did this all in Final Cut Pro at the time where I just set keyframes for the scale but I wasn't aware of this thing in After Effects that helps you retain a lot of the crispness of the image and still allow you to do the move. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that and let me just show you go full screen here and show you the this is without it and that's with it without you can see it's pushed in a little bit and it's probably at 150 here and using that effect see you get a lot of that sharpness back without the noise either so let me show you guys how to use that and I think it's something that you guys will find handy in tons of things that you, you do because I'm always scaling things and trying to create moves with a lot of my shots. So I have this shot, static, stationary, of the dry ice bubble. And I want to create a move on it. So what I used to do was set a keyframe for the scale, then let's say go to right here, and I want it at like 165. Right click on each keyframe, easy out easy in and there you had to move which works but it, your image is going to get a lot softer when you zoom in and I'm at 165 here so let me make bring in this another guy here let me rename it we'll call this with without okay so what I want to do is so I'm going to go to my effects here. Let's type in detail, detail preserving upscale. Let's drag it on here. Now we still can have these same keyframes that we had in here. And we can just copy and paste them. So it's still the same move, but we also have the effect applied. And reduce noise. And I got reduced noise at 50, detail at 50. You could play around with this a little bit. But when you see, let's see where we're at. We're at like 131 here. And I'm going to turn off the width. And you see, you get a little bit of that extra detail back. So the only bad thing is that this takes quite a bit of time to render. It'll probably take, oh, 20 minutes to render this 16 second clip, but like I said, it's you're definitely getting something out of it, as you can see. So, let me bring this into Premiere and I'll show you the two clips side by side. Okay, so now in Premiere here, so this is the clip without, That's with one more time without with so really simple stuff but if you're looking for crispness more clarity sharper picture this is a very good tool to have and I think you guys should have it in your arsenal and use it as an option to create interesting moves with your footage, but also have the ability not to lose resolution. So, hope you guys enjoyed this, and let me know what you guys think of it when you apply it to your own work in After Effects and Premiere. See you guys.